Hi, the focus of this session is on addressing the importance of regularly reviewing the revenue model of a business, particularly during these very challenging COVID-19 pandemic times. Are you still generating sufficient revenues? If not, you really need to review your revenue model. What does this really mean? You need to review from whom exactly are you still receiving and generating revenues, from which of your typical clients you still get and from which ones not, for what products and services within your portfolio you still get revenues and for which ones not, with what frequency are you generating revenues nowadays? Based on these questions and the answers to them that you will be able to collect, you need to actually summarize two key items of information. The extent of need for your products and services that is still out there on the market and the ability to pay for them of your typical clients. Now, in order to use this information to actually adjust your current revenue model to a more effective one, it's important that you have a good understanding of the overall options that you have in terms of revenue models. What other models are out there within your industry or maybe in other industries that you could learn from? and apply in your business. Now, for this, I want to highlight for you eight main types of revenue models split into two categories. Four are part of the direct revenue models category where the beneficiaries, the ultimate users, are able to directly pay for the product and service that they would be buying from you. And the other category of indirect revenue models are based on the fact that third parties are in fact paying for the, uh, for the ability for you to provide products and services to the ultimate users and the ones that can really benefit of. Now, in the first category, the four ones that I want to highlight for you are the single purchase model, which is basically um, referring to products or services that are really sold on an on one-off basis. They are generally high ticket, um, durable goods, rarely bought products or services. Another model is the bundle purchase model, where revenues are being generated on the basis of the sale of a group of products and services jointly. A third model here is the subscription based one where a specific price, a specific amount is being paid on a monthly, quarterly or annual basis for a client to get access to a specific product or service. And typically they get access up to a certain cap, up to a certain maximum. Now, a fourth model is the pay-per-use model. And in a way, this is linked to the previous one, the subscription-based one, because it actually allows a client to pay only for the amount of product or service that it actually uses during a particular period and not pay an amount fixed no matter how much or how little of that product or service would have used. This is in the direct revenue model category. Now, in the other category of indirect revenue models, 
there are four other main ones to highlight for you. The advertising based model is actually driven by revenues being generated by you through the provision of advertising space, be it in your physical premises or on your digital platforms, to third parties. And in exchange or with the revenue that you generate through such advertising, you would be in turn be able to provide other products or services on a free basis to other ultimate users and beneficiaries. For example, access to information, access to news, music, social uh, networks, social communication, maybe access to books, training, and so on and so forth. Another model here in the indirect category is the get one, give one. And this actually boils down to a specific paying customer that is able to, to, to pay um, on a more significant level would be buying and paying for two products, but take only one home, whilst the other one would be used uh, to satisfy the uh, need of another uh, ultimate user and beneficiary that is not able to pay for the product or service. A third model is the donation based one in which um, a charitable contribution is provided by a third party to your business that in turn allows you to provide your products and services to ultimate beneficiaries and users. Or a fourth model sponsorship based which is in a way similar to the donation model where a contribution is made by a third party however in this case is not fully on a charitable basis but this third party is expecting in return promotion and visibility to be given to it towards the target group of beneficiaries and ultimate users that uh, you are supporting and providing services and products towards now, these business models can be also used uh, in a mix and match basis, so you might have hybrid formats, and this very much depends on the case of your specific business. Now, let's look at a very particular example here and see how we can apply in practice. Let's think about a school minivan transport business. Now, the typical services provided by such business are paid by parents and they are paid on a subscription basis, generally an annual subscription linked to the academic year. Now, in the current circumstances, in the current COVID circumstances, the key question is, are the clients, the parents, still able to pay for these services and are the services still needed, your school transport services? This very much depends on the, uh, the manner in which kids are going to school. The service in itself might still be needed if the kids would be going, for example, a week yes, a week no to school. But uh, during periods when the school smart might be closed and all the education would be done remotely, such services would not be needed. So what can you do in this case? You could shift from a subscription, annual subscription based model to a paper use model where the client, the parents would be paying only for those periods, only for those days, for those weeks when they actually use your service. Then the question is also about their ability to pay. If the parents, if your clients have been also affected, uh, maybe by losing their job, maybe by working uh, reduced hours and hands on reduced pay and so on, in that case, you would possibly uh, need to further adjust the revenue model by maybe even adding an ad based or a sponsorship based component to it, attracting a third party and provide them, for example, with advertising space outside the minivan to cover a part of the cost and price of the transportation services that you are providing. 
I hope you'll find this useful and that you will be able to apply these concepts into your business. Best of luck.